So we're surgeons. We know that we've sent people to Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers. They're not losing weight. They've seen the dietitian. They're not losing weight. Well, what else can we do for them? Because we don't want to do a knee replacement. Well, OK, well, maybe there's an operation that can help them. All of a sudden, there's this explosion on the internet rec recommending and offering bariatric surgery at multiple centers. <coughs> so does bariatric surgery actually help them lose weight? The short answer to that is yes. It does help them lose weight. The average weight across most of the studies was about 25 kilograms or a nine point improvement in BMI. And that will help them with their knee replacement and their arthritis. And this is studied a couple of times. However, they neglect to mention that many patients put the weight back on within about five years. And that's the problem because they don't change what they're eating. 220,000 adult, Ameri adult Americans have bariatric surgery annually. And the numbers in Australia are really you know, rapidly increasing. Are there any problems with bariatric surgery? Now, I'm not a bariatric surgeon, but I am a doctor and a scientist, and so I went to the literature to read about bariatric surgery. You know, if I'm going to recommend bariatric surgery to my patients and send them to someone, I need to know about it. So another meta-analysis, group studies. Complication rates of bariatric surgery, 10 to 17%. Reoperation rates, 7%. And I love this. Mortality associated with surgery is generally low. <laughs> so three in 10,000 people will die from this operation to lose weight. And that's really, in my opinion, an unacceptably high statistic. What about kidney stones? Well, 1.73% uh, times increase following a particular type of bariatric surgery. Now, a lot of people blame keto diets for kidney stones, but they don't mention it after having had bariatric surgery. This is really scary. Five years after your bariatric surgery, your, your risk of suicide and self-harm increases, and it doesn't relate to the amount of weight loss. So you can be very successful with your weight loss, and you still have this risk of suicide and self-harm. What about diabetes? How durable is the diabetes remission? Well, this is fantastic. 72% experience type 2 diabetes remission two years after surgery. What about at 10 years? Well, only 36% now are still not diabetics. Change your food, it's long lasting. 68% experience complete diabetes remission within five years. 35% of them redeveloped it. So again, another study which basically showed the same thing. What about the real physical complications? Abdominal abscess, recurrent aspiration pneumonia, that's when stuff goes into your lungs. Um, and you can get all sorts of other physical problems. And these problems can develop almost regardless of which operation you have. You need to remember that these operations mostly are not reversible. So what happens in the long run? Well, you're at risk of getting micronutrient deficiencies, vitamin D, B12, calcium, iron. And the bariatric surgeons recommend monitoring yearly for the rest of your life to make sure that this doesn't happen to you. Every year for the rest of your life, you've got to go back to them and they've got to do blood tests and then give you supplements. And again, why would you do that when all you're trying to do is lose weight? Very busy slide, but this is again from the bariatric surgeons from a center of excellence, listing all the vitamin problems that you might have, which operation you might have, and how often you should be monitored looking for these deficiencies. So remember the slide which I put up beforehand. Can I, in good conscience, as an orthopedic surgeon, recommend bariatric surgery to my patients? Yes. 